What's going on everybody, Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video, and this time it's going to consist of going over Bardock and Broly one last time before they're officially released on the 28th of March. I do want to say right at the top of this video that none of this footage is mine, I'm just using very basic stuff provided by the Bandai breakdowns, and I broke it down into very small sections, so what you're seeing here isn't exactly going to be interesting. But do not worry, there are tons of amazing videos out there by people that Bandai let come in and record the footage, and they taught us a lot about these two characters. So I just wanted to say, if you're starving for some Bardock and Broly footage, there is a lot of footage out there for all types of players. P&D did a really good breakdown if you're interested in the fighting game mechanics of these characters. Both Rhyme Style and Afro did gameplay videos if you want to see two guys messing around with the characters having fun. And Bandai got Hell Pockets and Afro and Rhyme Style to do a breakdown along with Maximilian's videos as well. And I would strongly recommend checking them all out if you're interested in seeing gameplay from these two, how Bardock and Broly play, and possibly even a Bardock dramatic finish where he kills Frieza. But I don't know, maybe we'll talk about that later in the video. But back on topic, this video is going to be discussing everything I've seen with Bardock and Broly over the course of watching all these videos and the numerous breakdowns, and what I think about the two characters going forward, and how well they turned out in terms of what I wanted to see from the characters. So let's just jump into that second point right away. Bandai might as well have just watched my videos and designed the characters purely off of what I said, because it feels like everything I asked for is represented in these two characters. Bardock is a very versatile character, super fast, has a lot of mix-ups, and basically looks like a more versatile, standardized Yamcha. And by versatile, I mean what he does on the ground can be done in the air, and it just looks like everything works with this character. He's capable of some crazy combos, and we're already seeing some absolutely nuts stuff from Bardock. If you've watched my video, you know that I was interested in seeing if he had a level 1 that could be turned into a level 2, but actually what he has is he has a level 1 that leads into another level 1. So Riot Javelin and Revenger Assault are two very different things. But you can link Riot Javelin after Revenger Assault. And Revenger Assault is actually super interesting because it's the only level 1 super that has invulnerability. At least that I know of. Which means if you've ever been in that situation where you're trying to wake your opponent up and they have 3 bars and you have to be careful of a wake up super, now you have to be afraid of that for Bardock even if he only has 1 bar. Now let's move on to Broly and he is just another perfect image of exactly what I wanted to see. His walk speed is super slow and he excels in the corner, as if he's not in the corner he's not going to get max damage off of his combos. And that may sound like a bad thing, but really it's not that big of a deal as he has an amazing amount of tools for walking you down into the corner, complete with a lot of command grabs to break your block, some insane shields that absorb all projectile type attacks, and a large array of super armor moves. Like, this is a crazy amount of armor moves. Another thing that I thought was important to mention is that according to Maximilian, something with 16 super armor has been changed, meaning that we might see a pseudo balance patch along with these characters. Nothing confirmed yet, but I do think that's an important thing that people are going to want to hear. And now let's get into what I hinted at at the beginning of this video, being that Bardock has a reverse dramatic finisher against Frieza. So we've all seen the screenshot of Bardock getting blown away by Frieza and his dramatic finish, but what hasn't been publicly confirmed is that Bardock has a reverse dramatic finish, much like Yamcha beating Nappa, where he knocks the Cyberman back. We now have Bardock beating Frieza, and I can only imagine what that looks like. That's going to be so sick. And the evidence we have for this is during Rhyme Style's gameplay video on his channel, he's, he's playing his Bardock versus Afro, who's playing Frieza, and he says, oh, I was about to do the dramatic finish, but we're not allowed to show that yet. And obviously Bardock wouldn't die if he wins, so that's one point for the evidence there. And then Afro posted this pic of Bardock on Twitter, and I have seen every piece of gameplay that is possibly available. I've searched through all of it, and this picture does not exist anywhere else for Bardock. So I would put a lot of money on this being a scene from the dramatic finish. And with that said, that's pretty much the end of this video. I'm sorry I don't know too much about Broly and Bardock, again go check out those other videos if you're still hungry for more, and let me know down in the comments what you're most excited for, and which character you're the most excited for. While you're down there, if you like this video and channel, and are hyped to show some support for Bardock and Broly, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next one.